Now to a survivor's story. This man made it out alive of the tractor trailer. Tonight he left his hospital bed and is getting help from Catholic Charities. Can Survivor reporter Henry Ramos joins me live in studio tonight. And Henry, what are you learning from the organization? Well, you see survivors from the migrant tragedy are being released to the care of Catholic Charities. They're helping with communication and giving them safe shelter and other basic needs. You know, late this evening, I got these photos of the man who was inside the trailer and survived. He met with Catholic Charities president, you see right here, CEO Antonio Fernandez. The man is from Guatemala. He's physically okay, but I'm told is mentally traumatized. And for the first time in 15 days, he spoke to his wife today. He told her about the dangerous journey and almost losing his life. The wife told him she is praying for the 53 who didn't make it out alive. This is the first survivor Catholic Charities is helping. And today they showed him his room. They gave him food. Their goal is to make sure that he is comfortable, which is certainly something he needs after enduring the unthinkable. Isis. Thank you, Henry.